Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you how to sync a document library and what are the meaning of all of the icons once you sync. So actually, we will go to a document library. For instance, I have a document library here, which has two folders. And what we will do, we'll click the sync button. Before we start, Let's look at the OneDrive and see that everything is okay and we don't have any arrows. We can even click like this and see everything's okay. Then we will click the sync button and uh, you'll see it start working. And uh, now actually if we open, um, click here on Explorer, we will see Happy Days, which is the document library, uh, which has both of the folders. Now, by default, you see under the status, we have uh, like a cloud. I'll just go to a different document library that has different examples so to explain what, what the difference is. So in order that to save uh, space, by default, OneDrive uh, puts all of the folders and documents as a link, meaning it's not stored automatically. And if we click on one of the icons, then it will change to this uh, circle with uh, a V, you see? So if I click on this, it will change. Now, if we have the arrows, it means that it's working to sync. And you see now it changed to a, a circle with a V, but it's not like the circle with uh, the, the full uh, green. Um, this symbol actually means that we always want the document or folder to be on this uh, device. So how do we do that? We actually right click. I'm on Windows uh, 11, so uh, it, it might look different in Windows 10. And you see under share, we have uh, always keep on this device. So you see, now, no matter what we do, always it will be uh, on my device. But what happens if I want to bring it as a link? We can also right click. And what we can do is actually say, uh, free up space. And now it will change to a cloud and you see, so this is the difference between a cloud, which is a link. That means that if you're offline, you will not be able to access. And if, if it's uh, something like that, that is always on your device, then you can access it offline. Now I want to show you um, additional um, uh, symbols. Um, in this folder, for instance, you see uh, this folder has like a key. Oh, so what is the key? The key means that actually that uh, the user has no edit permissions. He can only read. Um, so let's see what happens uh, if I try to edit one of the documents here. Let's go to a different document. So you see here, actually, I open it and um, the file will be read only. You see, if I try to change anything and try to save it, it will give me a message maybe to save as different. You can't save this. It's a read only. Okay, so um, let's see what happens if we want to uh, change the, the permissions. So we're on the uh, IT folder. I will go to a different account and IT, actually I will click on the uh, three dots, manage access. I can see here that actually this is my user and now um, I can change it from uh, uh, view to edit. I changed it. Now, by the way, I can also click on the advance. Let's do that. Let's refresh. Now let's go back. You see IT, now the lock is not there. If I go there and try to edit, actually it will work. Uh, let's remove auto HR. HR, so I'll right click, manage access this time. I'll also go to the advanced, the classical way. And actually I will mark uh, 
this is my user and I will edit the permissions and instead of giving read I will give it edit press OK and if I go now here you see everything is set so uh, as we mentioned we have the cloud which is a link you cannot work offline we have this v uh, which is not full which is actually after i download it and we have actually the 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 type which has uh with the full green which actually means it's always on this device device and if we so here we see all of the possibilities. By the way, you can also see here version history. And uh, what else can we see here? We can also um, view online. And we could also uh, share with somebody. So view online will just open up the, the browser. And right click. If I want to share by default the sharing in OneDrive and in uh, in SharePoint, uh, well, in Run OneDrive usually it's um, only for yourself. If I click share here, then actually I can decide who to share the file with and what permission to give. So this is what I wanted to show you. Um, test it and if you have any questions you're welcome to ask uh, see you in the next episode if you like my channel subscribe and